So I thought I'd include a floor plan on what uh, what we're building here. Uh, I drew a gr black box around the addition. So what we're doing is uh, we're adding a, an attached garage. Or we're putting a three-stall garage on, and uh, a, off the back of the garage is uh, a 30 by 30 uh, additional garage. Basically, it's my wood shop, woodworking shop for where I do woodworking projects, table saw, planer, and the such. And then we're also, again, making it an attached garage. Um, so in the area between the, the addition for the house is uh, we're adding a master bathroom um, onto the, onto the ba bedroom. And then we're uh, next to the master bathroom I'm putting a small office in where I can do uh, computer stuff and bookkeeping and, and the like. And then next to the um, next to the garage, in between the garage and the office, is a uh, is the laundry room, um, basically. And then, but it's it's more than a laundry room. It's also like, kind of like a mud room too, where there's a, a sink and a toilet in it. You can where you can if you're outside, you can kind of sneak in. Um, through the garage or just you know kind of sneak in through the front door of the house and not but still not have to wander through them the main house to get to the main bathroom which is on the far side of the house and, and you know have to track up and make a dirt mess as you walk through walk through the house or you know so and then um in the kind of the in, what I call the entryway um on the other side of the on the the south side of the addition I got an, another closet for uh, for jackets and stuff and and then I also have a, uh, a pantry area with uh, it's got a small freezer in it and stuff like that we're also uh, going to be redoing the staircase in the house it's an it's an older house and older houses a lot of them have it's pretty steep staircases and this is this is no exception so we're going to be redoing the staircase and making them all much much flatter and easier to get up and down so this video is basically the just the start of the framing um I, uh, we are starting this is day one um, me and my older brother are working on getting started and uh we're starting on the common wall between the the house addition and the and the attached garage and then um, after on day two my uh, my older brother's daughter is coming coming to help my niece and we're gonna be working our way around the around the shop and you know around the garage and getting them done um, a lot of the walls we uh, were constructing them and actually sheeting them laying down and then we're going to use the skid steer with the boom to be able to pick them up and and use a little hydraulic power instead of sweat equity uh, uh, muscle power to stand the walls up and it's uh, fairly windy um, you know and, and it's nice to have a firm hold of the walls as you're setting them with uh, off the skid steer and then uh, today on um, the first day the temperature wasn't too bad um, next uh, on day two the temperature got up there it was it was pretty 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 close to miserable uh, unbearable we took uh, several different breaks during the during the heat of the day and uh, but we did get it done uh, we got 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 our goal for the for the day done so this is just gonna be a mainly a time-lapse video with um, I threw some stills in that I have uh, so this is actually part two of the construction I did a video of all the concrete work we did leading up to this point so there's going to be future videos uh, as we go along um, from this construction so i hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching